So you want to make games, right? The first step to make a game is to find yourself a game engine. Now there are a lot of game engines out there and I recommend you to research about different engines before choosing one that is suitable for you. For example, Unreal Engine, Unity Engine, or Game Maker Tool. For this tutorial, I will use Unity because it is the only game engine that I know how to use. So search for Unity Hub, download it, then install it, then you will see this. Install Unity Editor, then choose the version. I will recommend you installing the latest LTS version. Choose the components that you want to install, depending on what platform you want to make your game for. To use Unity, you need to have a license, so go to Preference, Licenses, and Add. Get a free personal license. Agree? Then that's it. Now let's make a game. Click on New Project. Then choose whether your game is 2D or 3D. I will choose 2D for this tutorial. And then pick a name for it. Now wait for an extremely long amount of time. And here we are. As you see here, there are a lot of tabs and windows. If you don't see any, then you can just go to window and choose general, then any of these things. Now, the hierarchy is the collection of everything in your scene. And scene is a smaller division of your game. You can right click to create, delete, or modify any of the stuff here. The scene display everything in your game so you can modify or delete. The game display everything you will see in the game and you can see it through the camera. On top here is the toolbar where you can use tools to modify your object. The first tool is to modify the position. The second tool is to modify the rotation. The third tool is to modify the scale. The fourth tool is the React Transform and the last tool is the three first tool combined. There are also some hotkeys you need to learn like Alt, right click, drag to zoom or right click, drag to move the world around. You can also toggle into the 3D world, but I don't recommend this for a 2D game. That is the camera. If you bring the camera too far, you cannot see the object anymore. This is the project tab where you can import assets from outside like soundtracks or the drawing of your character to work with here. You can also go to the asset store if you want to search for stuff online. And this is the console where you can see errors or warning or infos about your objects, if any, here. The inspector displays all the information of your components in your object, which you can modify. For example, the transform is the position, the rotation, and the scale of the object. The sprite renderer is the shape of the object, what the object looks like, and you can modify what it looks like or what color it is. You can also add more components into here, for example the box collider 2D, which is a collider with a box shape that can make your object collide with other and you can also modify the outline here this triangle is the play button and when you click it it will simulate your game as if you are playing it and the two rectangles is to pause your game now when you start the simulation you won't see anything special happen. This is because we don't have anything special about the two objects yet. 
So now let's add the rigid body to the component. This one simply make the object interact with gravity. You got my point. If you don't want it to fall down, you can simply change the body type to static. As you can see, there are no collision occurs. This is because both objects need to have a collider 2D to collide with each other. Nice. Very nice, but the problem is we cannot control our character yet because in a game you should be able to control your character. So now we will create something called a script and it's basically something very scary yet very helpful. This is also when the project tab shows its helpfulness here. So you can organize the assets here so that it's easier to find. Apply the script to whatever object you want to control. Here we are in a script. This green line doesn't do anything so it's safe to delete it. We also don't need to do anything to this object when the game just started so I will delete the void start method. Now we will declare a variable. A variable is just something that store information. In this case, it stored the information of a component called rigidbody2d. Now we have to assign the variable but we have to assign it outside of the code so we will write serialize field now we need to make a condition which is like a if statement for example 3 never equals to 2 so this is false 3 is always equal to 3 so this is true by the way I have to use the double equal signs because this is a comparison, so you have to use the double sign. Now, I will detect if the player typed A or not. If they type A, I will go to the left. So, I have to use the method get key down. The get key is called whenever the player just press the key down. The get key up is called whenever the player release the key the get key down is called whenever the player holds the key now we will type rb which we just declared up here dot add force which is to add the force then we will declare a new vector2 variable a vector2 variable has two numbers the first number should be negative and the second number should be zero so the character can go to the left now let's copy and paste only this time we will check for d instead of a and the positive number instead of the neg negative which is going to write now we will assign the variable which is the circle oh okay now it's clearer to us what happened but the ball just slides that is because the friction is way too low so we will create a 2d material and increase the friction and assign it to the player that's it for today if you want me to continue the series then Tell me in the comment section.